How to create a calculated column in a Microsoft list in Teams or SharePoint. That is what this video is about. I'm Paul Kuizers and to help businesses with a SharePoint, Microsoft Teams and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know a lot about Microsoft calculated columns. So let's jump into it. Yes, I already have uh, my um, office open and I'm going to select um, the app launcher. I'm going to go to lists. Here I can create a new list and I'm going to call it, um, well, first of all, if you never seen this, you got uh, a few options. You can create a blank list exist from existing from Excel, so you can import it. Uh, or from CSV. And then Microsoft provides a lot of templates already for you. So that's really easy. Uh, so you can reuse them or your organization. In my case, I, I don't have one. But uh, for this demo, I'm going to use the travel request. And as you can see, it's already a template. It's got uh, plenty of columns and uh, column formatting. So I'm going to use this template. I'm going to call this uh, travel request uh, lists demo. I can select a color. I will put a red color and change it. Then we have the possibility to save it to my list or to a SharePoint list. So here I'm going to sh um, save it to a SharePoint list and I want to show it in the navigation. Then I create, uh, click on create, and it will create the list for me. So here we are, we have our uh, list available, and as you can see, we have everything in there which uh, was there. So let's uh, just start with the item, uh, add an item, demo list item, and um, the requester is uh, Paul, um, leisure, location, we are going to select Langos, uh, Portugal, travel date um, and end date. I'm just going to select some airline. Let's uh, put that, the airfare. The hotel, let's uh, go for Lagos B Plaza. And uh, the cost of the hotel and if it's approved. So this you can do with the flow. I'm not going to do uh, that in this case. Uh, and then uh, if, if necessary, you could apply a label. So here I'm uh, going to save it. And as you can see, we have our first item in the list. Now I want to add a calculated column. So here we go. I click on add. And as you can see, there's no calculated column in this, um, in this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click see all columns and click next. This will bring you to the old experience of SharePoint. And um, the old doesn't mean it's bad because it got more options that have not been implanted in the modern view. So here I'm going to select, uh, select uh, estimated cost total and I'm going to create a calculated column. Here I have them. So it will refresh the page because we'll have some uh, additional uh, items. Here we can set up our formula. So is, and then we can create estimated airfare. We double click it and we want to have the estimated hotel cost. So now we know exactly what cost it is. So here we go. Um, I want to have it in a currency. And I want formatting on it, but this is a bit too difficult for me at this moment. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to click on OK. So let's see what happened. Yes, we have our new column at the end. So that's fine. Uh, we could move them along, but 
and the calculation is correct. So this is really cool. Uh, but now we want to uh, format this column. So here we go, we click on the column, then we go to column settings, format this column. And here we are, we can and this is the default role, so it default it uh, shows gray. So here I'm going to select uh, estimated air fryer um, is greater than um, 700. Then uh, color the column red, and I'm uh, going to save it. Now I go back. I will do another one at, uh, or I will edit this one. Um, so if estimated uh, airfare is less than or equal to 700, then it should turn green. And we're going to save it as well. So this looks fine. I'm uh, almost sure it looks the way I want it. So now I'm just going to edit this one. I'm going to details and going to say 690. Then I click out of here. Let's see what the formatting has done. Yes, it's green, so that's correct. Now I'm going to change it back to um how oh, that item details 750 let's see if it changed yes it's 2000 all right that's good but now i want to have an excel one so i'm going to column settings format this column and where are my um my formatted columns. So I'm going to click advanced and I see that it's empty. So this is really strange. I haven't figured out what, um, what the issue is causing because it totally removed my uh, formatting. And um, so this is something you need to know. One thing you need to know as well is that this calculated field is only working on the same row. So I cannot go cross, uh, cross rows to uh, create a calculated column. I cannot use it in a calendar view and the lookup fields are not supported in a formula. So here we are and I'm going to um, go to this one. Uh, because here we have some unsupported column types in formulas. Um, so if you like this video, uh, give it a big like, subscribe to my channel. I know that about 90% uh, of people who are watching this video are not subscribed. So please subscribe. You do me a big favor with that. So back to this, unsupported columns for typical conditional formulas. Uh, so they have some uh, columns that are not supported for, um, uh, for the calculated fields. And um, you see here some uh, optional uh, options. So these are some of the options you have. And um, Let's uh, look at the examples because here we also have some formulas, so conditional formatting. Here we can show, uh, I'm just doing one, uh, one item, but as you can see, there are a lot of items that you could choose off. So basically, this is what I wanted to show you about the SharePoint lists and Microsoft list and Teams list. Uh, I'm really curious, have you worked with this? Let me know in the comments. If you want to know more about SharePoint, you can click on this next video and uh, you will learn some more about SharePoint. Thanks for watching.